Good morning all the way from Orlando. This is the last video I'm gonna post in Orlando. Sadly, we're leaving today, which means the hurricane's coming tomorrow slash today. We don't know the time yet, but we're just trying to knock down a couple of like fun things to do here in Orlando. And yesterday, I met Tim Tracker. He was here in Universal. Sadly, I never got to take a picture with him. Oh, hello, my hat is flying. The winds are ridiculous right now. But yeah, we're gonna go ride the mummy right now. There's barely anybody here for Monday, I guess. Labor Day. It's super, dude. Look at this. This is pointless. It's super windy. It's 9.30 and no one's here at the park. I'm so excited because we get to ride every ride without having to wait in any line. So the first ride we're gonna ride is the mummy. I'm super excited about that. We've been trying to eat this Voodoo Donut Burger and yet we have yet to find the, the place that they actually sell it. And we had to go to Voodoo Donuts and actually ask the manager. And the manager said that it was in the NBC Sports Restaurant. So we're gonna go ahead there after we leave. All right, so the mummy was basically a walk-on. We literally were, the, we were only four people in the front row. And this is the best day you could go to Islands of Adventure and Universal. There's no lines at all. All right, so let's go into the telephone booth. Oh, Ministry of Magic, right here. Hold this. Okay, so he's gonna dial the Ministry of Magic. So if you guys want to talk to the Ministry of Magic, it's right here, the phone number is right there. We're like, this Ministry of Magic lift is closed at the moment, we're sorry for the inconvenience. That's the first time I've ever done that. I have never seen this so empty at almost 10 o'clock. It's 9.49 right now, and this is so empty. This is the best day ever if you want to ride any rides. I'm pretty sure the hybrid ride is what you... you 120, that's nothing for the hybrid ride. All right, so we just rode Escape from Green Gods. It was basically another walk-on. Oh, that is awesome. It opens. Oh. You have to pay for the actual one. It's heavy. It's heavy. Oh, it is heavy. It's the king. They have it in all its And is it the same price or is it? Same price. Hold this. But you don't get the oh, with, with, dude, it is heavy. Because it's a collectible. So. Alright, so if you want to go ahead and get Malfoy's cane with the wand, it is 125 and it is rather heavy. I must say, it's super heavy. The wand itself is heavy and it fits right perfectly. It is definitely a must buy. At least for like a super fan. Oh, wait, wait. I never get old. I must get one. Oh my god, look, that's so funny. Look, he's like drinking it and then his like bone grows. Get it? Skelly grow. No, ready, ready, wait for it. Look. Online. So I've been trying to get this forever. No, they don't sell it sadly. But we could get this online, so I'll probably buy that online. It is rather beautiful. You think this is gonna be a hurricane? I can only imagine back in the day when no one had like a meteorologist or anything like that that would tell them that there's a hurricane coming. There's more workers outside than there are people. All of these people are workers. That is ridiculous right now. Alright, so I didn't see this till now. They took out all their vintage cars from the drive-in here because of the hurricane. Which, at the same time, I'm still wondering why the hell it's so damn sunny outside. So let me go ahead and actually go into this Williams of Hollywood prop shop. They typically have a lot of props used in movies slash rides that have been either taken away or they're just vintage and they just left them here so let's go ahead and go in and see what we could find the store front sign from original park opening in 1990s what the heck are all these potatoes doing here all right so we're trying to beat the halloween horror nights so sold out shirts by buying one early ah -ha -ha. the first time i've ever been here So she already got her magnet. We get our magnet and pins. Halloween Horror Nights edition. Hello. Hi. And they're all the same pins? Yes. Awesome. Oh, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. That's the pin. That is awesome. And we got our shirt. So dude, we're ready for Halloween Horror Nights. Beetlejuice, what happened? 
they took away your your show. Yeah, they closed my show and put a crappy ride up. Can you yeah, believe that? Yeah, the worst ride. I know. I need you to help me out. You need to go to get services. Tell them I need my show back because it's hurting me in the bottom line, my wallet. You know what I'm saying? I need that show money. No, that was the best show around here for you sure. You can lie to me and tell me that. That's fine. No, it was definitely fine. I know I'm cool, baby. Thank you for saying so. <laughs> Party in the city when the heat is on. Hey. All right, so in the horror makeup show, they have all the Halloween Horror Nights. This was the first time I ever heard of Halloween Horror Nights when Jack came in. It is currently 12 o'clock and yet no hurricane in sight. I'm kind of scared that the meteorologist finessed everyone and basically we weren't the only ones. Well, we were the smartest ones because we, we came over here even though it said not to. So we're getting through all the lights quick. This is where the Beetlejuice show was. But I guess they wanted to do this because Universal, blah, blah, blah. This is the suckiest ride. Honestly, probably in the whole freaking park. I would get the Beetlejuice show over this one. Because we, there's not that many shows now. There's literally only the, the horror show. That's it. Guys, if you haven't seen my top five places to take pictures in Diagon Alley, this is exactly why this picture is number one. There's a lot of people just waiting for the dragon. I don't even think it's gonna go on anytime. And yes, we have changed our outfits because it was ridiculously hot. So we're in the SpongeBob store right now with the Krabby Patties. Give me your best SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, give me your best Gary impression. Dude, his eyes look waterly. He's really going through it. Give me your best Mr. Krabs. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. I forgot how he lost. This is my best. Do your best Patrick impression. What's your best impression of him? Hi, my name is Patrick. <laughs> No, this is Patrick. Is it the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. But do your best impression of him. Give me the Krusty Krab formula. F is for friends, so do stuff together. Come party with me. Come party. Bye, Gary. All right, so we're trying to do the immigration tour. We've never done it. So this will be the first time we're gonna try it out. The cat almost blew off. It is so cold in here, I love it. Like that transition from burning hot to cold is amazing. We're going to child swap, which means we're gonna go ahead and do the immigration tour. I'm so excited. Get everyone over here. It smells like what? Oh, okay. Are you guys ready for the hurricane? Oh. Are you guys ready for the hurricane? My name is Jacob and I'll be your tour guide today. There's going to be two aliens in there. Do not touch them. They are allergic to us, sadly. But otherwise, take as many pictures as you want inside of there. Look around. There's a little book that you can sign. So, I'll be here if you need any pictures taken, all right? Have a good time, you guys. Awesome. Oh, wow. Yes, that'll be awesome! Oh, I'm gonna sign the book. I'm gonna sign the papers. <laughs> oh, dude, that's so awesome. Oh, oh we're gonna sign the paper? That's the alien from, from, from The Simpsons. Oh, really? Yeah. Signing your life away. I'll put my alien name is Johnny Smithers. There you go. Now you gotta put it. You gotta put that in there. Ethan Banks. Sorry, Ethan. But today we're on top. taking priority. <laughs> Don't touch him. That's a big guy. That was really cool, and I love the fact that they asked us if we wanted to ride again, and obviously I wasn't. Gonna, I was gonna take that opportunity. We don't have to wait the line. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that was awesome. That's the first ever because I've never done that. Nothing special, but honestly, like it's worth the experience. Dude, the pictures? Yeah. And we got to write down our names, like um, how long we're staying here, departure and all that. It's pretty cool. Alright, so before we leave, we definitely have to go ahead and end it with a bang and get the butterbeer. This is a must-have 
every time. All right, now we're off to leaving Universal completely and going off to the NBC, wait, no, the Coca-Cola factory, right? Something like that. Something like that. The struggle to find this Voodoo Donut is ridiculous. No one has it, but everyone knows somewhere else to have it. So we're just running around back and forth finding this thing. So we came inside for not even five minutes and I'm guessing the hurricanes are finally up showing its signs. We'll be here for another, for another 15 minutes. We found the damn Voodoo Donut Burger. So it's a steak. Mm -hmm. So the hurricane finally showed its, showed its signs out here in Universal Studios. Dude, look at that. I just went inside for like 15 minutes. It's about time. We've been going through hell and back just to find this donut. We have finally found it. It's a donut. Dude, that's a big... Good luck. That's like probably like 2,000 calories right there. Don't scare me like that. Let me just enjoy my food without feeling guilty. Mmm. Really good. Mm -hmm. One out of ten. Sweet and salty. Ten for sure. This is really good. You can only find that in the Coca-Cola right in between literally both parks. There's a big Coca-Cola sign. You can get these right there. That's the only place that they sell these.